Here's some good news in our unhappy time. The New York Times reports that Planned Parenthood of New York will disavow Margaret Sanger, the founder of Planned Parenthood. They're going to take the Margaret Sanger name off their building. This is a very important development. It's been known for decades that Sanger was a notorious racist and eugenicist. She was someone who advocated segregation. She is someone who praised the Nazi sterilization laws. In fact, in 1935, at a population congress, she raised a toast to Adolf Hitler. Margaret Sanger spoke to a group that came to hear her in full regalia. Eugenics means the release and cultivation of the better racial elements in our society and the gradual suppression, elimination, and eventual extirpation of defective stocks, those human weeds which threaten the blooming of the finest flowers of American civilization. Now, Sanger didn't just want to get rid of blacks. She also wanted to get rid of what she called the unwanted, by which she meant people who are poor, people who are uneducated, people who are sort of, from her point of view, human weeds, the debris of society. But she recognized that blacks would be predominantly represented in this group. Yeah. We don't want word to go out that we want to exterminate the Negro population. And the minister is the man who can straighten out that idea if it ever occurs to any of their more rebellious members. Now, for decades, Planned Parenthood has been in public denial of Sanger's racist history. They sanitize her record in their brochures, and they've got a whole slew of progressive historians doing their cover-up work for them. Ellen Chesler's book, uh, A Woman of Valor, is representative. A Woman of Valor? Really, it takes valor, courage to do what? To target the most vulnerable members of our society for elimination and extermination? This is disgraceful. But now, the chickens are coming home to roost, by which I mean this whole progressive cover-up project is exposed as a lie. I admire Margaret Sanger enormously. I am really in awe of her. And there are a lot of lessons that we can learn from her life and from the cause she launched and fought for and sacrificed so greatly. And it's exposed as a lie, believe it or not, by Black Lives Matter, because the Black Lives Matter guys have figured out that Margaret Sanger was a notorious racist. And so from the left, they have put pressure on Planned Parenthood. And Planned Parenthood, which would never listen to us, is forced to listen to them. We now have to put pressure on all the other Planned Parenthoods, including the national organization, to disavow their founder, Margaret Sanger. Now, of course, this is a limited victory because in some sneaky way, the eugenic project continues. Planned Parenthood will continue to lead the abortion industry in America. It will continue to be true that Planned Parenthood's clinics are predominantly in inner city and minority communities. So they are continuing in that insidious way in the tradition of Margaret Sanger. But it is at least small progress that this racist woman is being exposed and her legacy being publicly disavowed.